if you want a quality model you want to give it quality data there is no other way around it period no matter how many gpus you throw at a model no matter how many epochs you trained it for if your data quality is not good and i mean training data then the quality of the model will be suboptimal no matter what you do how many fine tuning you do no matter how much fancy techniques of fine tuning or training you use that is why i am always on the lookout for good projects which talk about scaling or creating synthetic data that you could create with the help of any model out there this is one of the interesting project which i just came across that talks about scaling synthetic data creation with lot of personas and when i say lot of it means more than 1 billion diverse personas to facilitate the creation of diverse synthetic synthetic data for different scenarios and we will also look at some of the examples such as this one it is easy to generate synthetic data with gpt4 with cloud anthropic cloud and gemini from google but hard to scale up its diversity which is essential for its application this research paper proposes a new persona driven data synthesis methodology to generate diverse and distinct data covering a wide range of perspectives i already have covered various other papers where they talk about the similar things for example in previous works synthesize data using either instance driven approaches for example using seed corpus or key point driven methods such as using topic subject but both of those approaches lack the desired coverage quality and perspectives needed to robustly scale the data synthesis process to measure the quality of the synthetic data sets they performed an out of distribution evaluation on math and then various other personas as you can see on your screen and a fine tuned model on their synthesized 1.07 million math problems achieved around 64.9% on math matching the performance of gpt4 turbo preview at any 7 billion scale which is massive now what is happening in this paper is if you look at this diagram this is showing you that personas can work with a wide range of data synthesis prompts such as creating a math problem or a user prompt to guide an llm to synthesize data with corresponding perspectives the 1 billion personas in persona hub can facilitate synthetic data creation for various data synthesis scenarios at a billion scales so they also propose this new persona driven data synthesis methodology and present persona hub which is a collection of 1 billion diverse personas automatically created from web data they have shown that this methodology can facilitate the scaling of synthetic data creation across various scenarios demonstrating its potential to revolutionize creation and applications of synthetic data and its prospects as a general data synthesis engine for both research and practice for instance if you look at this diagram this is showing you from a compression perspective persona hub can be seen as a compressed form of world knowledge where public web text for training llms into distributed carriers has been used on the other hand the public web text can be seen as a decompressed content created by these personas with knowledge and experience and by the way sampling is orthogonal to this work and if you want to know what orthogonal mean i have done various videos on it so please check it out and the diversity it introduces when solely used for data synthesis is quite limited in most of the scenarios anyway that is out of topic here and also if you look at this example here so primarily what is happening all in all in this one is that the text to person approach is being taken and it can use any text as input to obtain corresponding persona just by prompting the llm that who is likely to read write like dislike the text and then similarly if you scroll down there are other example where persona descriptions are being shown and that will be fine grained if input text involved many detailed elements and they have given quite a lot of examples throughout this uh, where you can see that this is again on the left is a persona of uh, patriotic nurse it has been given to llm and then some of the relations uh, have been also created the other personas who are in close relationship with the persona on the left and then similarly there is another uh, interesting stuff where um, 
they are demonstrating the math problem resolution so you see in this one the on the very left hand side uh, it is showing when prompting an llm to create a math problem adding a persona leads the LLM to create math problem related to that persona as you can see here the and the also the figure confirms that when presented with a linguist persona the llm will create a math problem in the context of computational linguistics also adding a persona does not really stop the flexibility of the prompt here and we can also easily customize it and there are a lot of other examples and you can check it out uh, on their paper and i will drop the link to it in video description so all in all real good stuff i think uh, this is just a first version and it already contains one billion personas the description of these personas are focused only on major aspects and for now lacks fine grain details for example like preferences for colors numbers family background historical context and life experiences i'm uh, if you go through the paper the researchers have said that they plan to refine the personas in subsequent version of persona hub and that aims for their descriptions to be as detailed as those found in wikipedia articles about individuals and these more detailed personas will make each persona more unique and that will scale up persona hub and fostering more opportunities for synthetic data creation while also empowering practical applications so that is where i'm very excited about this new research so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think would be really good to get some code around it um, so as soon as the code is released and we were able to generate these synthetic data with personas that will be awesome and then we can fine tune the models on it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching